Um, now, when we left uh, season one, Emma and uh, Ethan were kind of on the outs. Uh, what can you kind of tease about their relationship in season two? Uh, you know, that they, they were on the outs when it started, and, and we come back, you know, picking up on the on the coattails of that. So uh, it's still still a lot of pressure on the two of them. Still a very stressful relationship. But uh, again, he he gets um, involved with with both girls in some way or another. You know, he has to. He finds a way that he has to stay in their life, so it's stressful for him. You know, you, you're, you're going to see Ethan uh, g go through a lot with with the girls once again. Uh, and Thayer is also kind of in the mix there. It's really more of a love square we're dealing with here. <laughs> the triangle became a love square. Yeah. That's uh, funny. How, how yeah. are Ethan and Thayer? Uh, you know, I think I think they might have been okay if Thayer had not moved in on on his territory, as they say. So. Uh, you know, I, I think I think there's asking for it at this point. I mean, and you don't want Ethan Whitehorse coming for you. No. You know. <laughs> sort of generally speaking, what are you most excited for fans to see Ethan do in season two? Um, th there's there's some cool stuff coming up. Um, there's a lot of great scenes with uh, Ethan and his brother Tyler. They they have a lot of good stuff this year. So um, that'll be a nice storyline I think for for folks to see. And, uh, well, speaking of the Ethan and Thayer, I, I have kind of a favorite scene that uh, me and Christian, who, who plays Thayer, we had to shoot, where there might be a little bit of a, a, little bit of a boxing match going on. And, you know, I think, I think maybe they find out who the better man is through old-fashioned, you know, brawl. I think it's going to be Ethan. <laughs> Put your money down on that? Yeah. I think that's safe. That's safe. <laughs> uh, last, last question. It's Christmas time. So what is sort of your one tradition that you always have to do at Christmas time? Uh, let's see. Um, well, this isn't something we do anymore, but I'll tell you a, a, a really funny one that I, I like to look back on. My mom used to, uh, me and my brother were growing up, she used to make us um, write like a letter to Santa. You like leave it next to the fireplace for when he comes down. And we have several home videos that we go back and watch. And my mom, bless her heart, she would write like two page responses from Santa like he has time to do that. It's just ridiculous mathematically. And she'd leave it for us and so we'd be like these little kids trying to drag ourselves to the presents and she's like no and she pulls us back and she's reading her her biography that Santa left. So thanks mom. That was that was a rough rough part of the childhood.